gotta go fast again. <laughs>
like of Sonic. He really sounds like the character and he really brings a lot of charm to the table. Like he's really funny while also bringing charm to his character. He's he's very charismatic and also quite frankly hilarious in this film. Like he was like that in the first movie and he really ups the ante of that with this sequel. So I gotta give Ben Schwartz credit where it's due, man. Like, he was great in the film. Let's also discuss uh, Jim Carrey for a second as Dr. Robotnik. This performance, especially just like I, like, like what I would also say about the first movie with his performance as Dr. Robotnik, he's basically his 90s Jim Carrey-isms, you know? With stuff like Dumb and Dumber, Ace Ventura, Liar Liar, or I'm even gonna go as far as saying The Cable Guy. Like, he knows how to bring that Jim Carrey humor and charm to his character. Like, he quite frankly knows how to make me laugh easy. Like, I can't really think of a time that Jim Carrey has not made me laugh. Every time Jim Carrey, like, makes a joke, most of the time, like, when he brings his, like, you know, Jim Carrey-isms into the mix, I always laugh. Like... And since he has announced that he's considering to retire, if this is his last performance as Dr. Robotnik, you went out with a bang there, my friend. Thank you, Jim Carrey, for your movies, sir. My, I, I've loved you since, since good old Ace Ventura. I will love you forever. Thank you, Jim Carrey. He really went out with a bang as Dr. Robotnik. If this is his last performance, he did it, you guys. And also, let's discuss Idris Elba as Knuckles. Now, this was a casting choice that a lot of people were skeptical about when they first heard it was announced about the casting choice of Idris, of Idris Elba voicing as Knuckles. But he's basically kind of playing the tough guy a lot in these um, blockbuster movies now. We you know stuff like The Suicide Squad, you had Thor Ragnarok, you had The Dark Tower, a lot of those films. But with this one, he also brings his charm into the mix as well. And he was quite frankly hilarious as Knuckles. Like, when I heard his voice in the first trailer for this movie, I was just like, there you go. You have done the job right there, Eater Selva. I already know you're going to kill it as Knuckles. And quite frankly, he nailed it. He nailed, he got every nail right in the coffin. Like, he did it you guys he puts all those nails in the coffin he knows what he did with as knuckles he was awesome in this movie james mars and antica sumter of course have great chemistry as husband and wife now there is a wedding subplot in this movie that kind of does drag the film a little bit in my opinion like i mean yes it has its funny moments and it has a uh, interesting twist I did not see coming which I won't spoil mind you I just didn't see it coming and then all of a sudden like like my mind was just like blown from that but the wedding kind of tended to drag the film down just a bit and plus the film runs at two hours so you can kind of expect it to drag the film for you but for me personally I'm not going to downgrade this film too harshly for that because Everything else surrounding Sonic the Hedgehog 2, I had so much fun with, especially as a huge fan of the first film and a big fan of the games and the character himself. Like, I knew what I was getting into going into this film. The trailers gave me everything I wanted. The posters were great. And I was the marketing for this film. Like, you knew when I was looking at those posters and also watching these trailers for the movie, I knew for darn sure. I was in for a treat for Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and it gave me everything I wanted out of a Sonic sequel. It's it's another video game movie that actually um, is for the fans. If it's like, if you didn't grow up with Sonic, then basic, then you might not enjoy it as much. But if you love Sonic and you grew up with a character like me you know exactly what you're going to get. And, you, and it's an actually a very accurate representation of the game. So that's basically a lot really you need to know about Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I love this film. 
my second favorite film of the year, right behind the Batman. And surprisingly enough, it actually beat out Jackass Forever, which was something I was not expecting at all. But it did. And I was speechless by that moment, like after I left the theater and thinking to myself that this film beat out Jackass Forever as the, for the number two spot. I love this film. I already want to go see it again. It was such a freaking blast. And some of you guys may be shocked by this grade, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 deserves an A+. I said what I said, y'all. I love this film. I had so much fun going to the theater to see this movie. Like, when I was watching this film, I watched this film with, with, with my best friend and actually um, one of his friends as well. One of his friends actually came along. He invited one of his friends on for the trip, and I was like, cool. I was... They could tell I was having the time of my life watching this movie. I had such a blast with Sonic 2. So if you guys love, again, if you guys are huge fans of Sonic like me, and especially if you love that first film, you're not going to be disappointed with the sequel. So go check out this sequel on the biggest screen possible and bring a, bring a big group of friends, shove a bunch of popcorn in your mouth, and you're going to have a blast with Sonic. But obviously this is all my opinion, of course. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Do you guys think this one beats out the first film or do you prefer the first movie? I love creating this stuff for you guys and talking about movies with y'all. So make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and click on that notification bell right next to it so you can get notified of every single video I upload here on the channel. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up as well because it's very beneficial for me to get my content out there. We are getting close to 200 subscribers. I am hoping we can reach that milestone here fairly soon. Y'all are the best. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Look forward to more fun content here on the channel very, very soon. We got Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore next week, which I am pretty excited to check out. And a pretty good new release is coming out in the month of April. We got a few more to, co to cover anyway. We got uh, The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. We got The Northman. We got The Bad Guys. Lots to look forward to and much, much more, you guys. So thank you all so much for watching. If you guys want to see more content from me, make sure you subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.